Hello. So um, today we're going to take a look at how to make uh, a system so that once our pieces are grayed out, they can be destroyed and then the columns can collapse. So the way we have it right now, if we have two pieces that don't make a match, like these two here, they move back. If we have two pieces that do make a match, then they kind of gray out. Um, I think the alarm one is set a little too low, though. We want to set it a little higher, because um, if I switch, no, sometimes. Sometimes if I swap two pieces, it doesn't always register the match right away. So we're just going to set that alarm one to be a little bit higher. So let's go to the code. Uh, if we go to our game maker here, I'm just going to clear up some space. I'm going to go to my, uh, in my dot object, in global left released. I'm going to set this alarm one to be something higher. Like, well, actually, yeah, let's make it 15. Um, that should give us a little more time for the pieces to move to where they need to be before we check to see if they need to move back. Um, OK, so now I want to take a look at the controller event, or the controller object. In the controller object, we're going to be taking a look at the dots themselves. And this is where we're going to be deleting the match dots and then also collapsing the columns. So what I want to do first is I want to create uh, an alarm event. So first I'm going to make a reference to this alarm event in the uh, game managers create event. I'm going to make a line for alarm 0. And let's set this equal to 15. Actually, let's go even higher and just do 20. Uh, we can adjust these as we need to as the time comes. So I'm going to add a new event. This is an alarm event, and for the uh, game manager, it's alarm zero. I'm going to add my description, and this is going to be to uh, destroy matched pieces and collapse. Wow, I misspelled that. Collapse columns. All right. So what we want to do in here is we're going to be using um, GameMaker's with command, which if you're used to programming in Java or C Sharp, with is very similar to a for each command, uh, where in C Sharp you would be doing something like for each, I don't know, spot on a Dalmatian, do this. Um, GameMaker, uh, they don't have a for each command. What they have instead is with. So we're going to do with o underscore dot. And now, any code that we enter in here, it will act as if it's that dot doing the code, and it will apply to every dot in the scene. So we're going to do with o underscore dot. First, we're going to check to see if it's grayed out. If image underscore alpha is equal to 0.2, uh, that means that it's matched. Uh, then the next thing we want to do here is find all of the other dots. So essentially, we're taking this dot right now. And if it is currently at a um, grayed out state, we're going to then look at every other dot in the scene. And if every other dot in the scene shares the same column up and down as this dot, then we're going to increase that dot's row. Or sorry, yeah, that dot's row uh, so that it can kind of collapse. So in here, we're going to say, this is a little confusing uh, with o underscore dot. So what this is doing is this is taking all of the other dots as if we were the original dot, which I know is a little inception-y. Uh, we're going to say if column is equal to other dot column. And when we use other in this case, we're referring to the original dot that we're using, this first dot that we would have grabbed, or second or third or whatever is equal to other dot column and row is less than other dot row meaning if it's above because our rows count up as we go down then what we want to do is we want to increase the row so we're going to do row plus plus now um, once that's done when we're done working with the other dot we're going to destroy uh, the grayed out dot instance underscore destroy and then we're going to reset the alarm so that it's perpetually going. So what did I set the alarm to a second ago? I can't even remember. 20. So we're going to say alarm 1 equals 20. Uh, OK. So I'm going to save this. 
hit play. And let's take a look at what happens. So we still have some uh, matches generating probably when we start up the game. But there we go. Uh, columns all collapsed. Uh, if I switch these two, it should just take a second for it to... Hmm. Okay. Let's try making a match over here. Did I use the wrong alarm? I did. <laughs> this needs to be alarm zero. All right. I'm going to save that and hit play again. Uh, okay. So it's thinking. All right. So here it comes. Collapse. Uh, I'm going to get a match. Collapse. Get another match. Collapse. Get another match. Collapse. So we almost have a game right now. Like this alone could be a game. I have this weird thing that's going right there. We'll fix that. Um, actually, let's fix that right now. So let me explain what that error that I just had was. So I'm going to bring it up again so I can explain it. Um, OK, so in our Game Maker Studio 2, all right, we didn't start with a match this time. If I make a match. Now, if I pull to the left from here, it's going to be looking for something there. And then the way the code is written right now, if I look at my dot object, uh, when I do left released, other dot is instance position. And then I start doing all this stuff with the other dot. But that other dot might not exist, uh, which is why it's going to give me an error when I pull away from this one right now. So in order to just kind of fix stuff in case something weird might happen for a user, I'm going to go in here, and right after I say other dot equals instance underscore position, I'm going to say if other dot is not equal to no one, and I'm just going to encapsulate all of this code inside of that if statement. So I'm going to do this for each of the each of the movements, left, right, up, and down. So if other dot is not equal to no one. Uh, and then I'll take all of this stuff here. Oops, wrong brace. OK. And I like to make sure everything's indented properly. I'm a little bit of a freak about that. Um, if other dot not equal to no one. And down here. One more after this one. And then we'll check to make sure that our code works the way it should. Uh, here we'll do if other dot not equal to no one and then down here okay and then move these over okay cool um, I'm going to save this and then we'll go see if I fixed the error it would be nice if I did it's always nice when things work out the way they're supposed to so here we go okay cool I'm gonna pull off of here no errors. Sweet. Let me make another match. Cool. Columns collapse like they're supposed to. All right. Nice job. Give yourself like a little pat on the back if you've made it this far. This isn't easy stuff to do. Um, we're almost done with the basic game logic. And then after that, we get to do the fun stuff like power ups and all that. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, my name is Mr. Taft. I don't know why I just told you that. Uh, leave any questions or comments down below. Uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. I'm a little loopy today. Uh, have a wonderful day.